warranty card and a manual plate for you to put inside uh, for you to put on the track with the wheels now it's clean I can put the track here I believe this will turn this should be here in the middle yeah I just need to make sure that the right shape if we put it with that it will go in and to put it in the right shape yeah then it goes in then here goes the plate there you go see that it doesn't move left or right so it will automatically turn when this turn the whole thing will turn from behind there's nothing much to see there's just some warning telling you there's a microwave energy do not remove this cover and there is also a warning sign here okay this is a serum sticker to show you that this is a certified product tested by serum so it's gonna be safe why is it this way so I was thinking that sometimes when you push all the way back to the, towards the wall this will actually tells you that uh, this is the maximum you can go yeah because anything more than that it will actually uh, affect the wiring as well as the back here as you can see so this is somehow a little bit more than this so if I open it once it's on the light is on yeah there's the lights here and that's pretty much it so this is basically the manual and this is the certificate of warranty there's no stamps required but i have to send it to this place now it's blinking and i already click on the clock oh there's this is the time keys so now i'm setting it to 505 17 is 5 o'clock this is the minutes click on the clock yeah clock is set but the thing is if I were to off it then the clock will be let me just check on the back so what's the point yeah I'm not gonna set the clock again uh, because I want to off it I don't want it to be on standby I just learn about this power level um, before you start anything once you click on the power level this is 100% meaning that this is going to be the fastest yeah the most powerful the more that you click on 90% 60 80 70 it will reduce keep reducing and you can now set the timer as well this is the maximum time you can cook 99 minutes 50 seconds okay I'm gonna set this first the power level maybe 250 and timer is just two minutes so then you can just click on the instant cook and start so this will just cook for two minutes at 50% of the power and let's say you want to defrost something first then only you start want to cook it uh, you can also do this uh, you can do this click on the time defrost yep then set the timer to say you want to defrost it in two minutes then after that you want to cook it then you click on the power level maybe in only 80% then you can start clicking a timer again say I want to cook this for five minutes so you defrost for two minutes then you will cook for five minutes so what you can do is you can click here so it will defrost okay for two minutes then after that you will automatically change to 50% of the level and start to cook for you so that's something very that's something very convenient and here's another tips uh, once you click here this will actually just power on your uh, microwave for one minute at the 100% level so just click here that's why you see one minute and you will actually the power level is actually 100% it won't show here but it's uh, instantly in 100% 
Oh, there's another function where you can do a child lock. Click here for three seconds. Now it's lock, meaning that uh, these functions are not working. Start, your child won't be able to play with it. And you can't do anything as well, unless you stop the child lock. Click here for three seconds. There you go. Now to use the with defrost, just click on this one. Uh, this is to defrost chicken in 1 kg, for example, or 1.1 kg of beef. So once you have clicked on this one, uh, you need to set the weight. Yep, 1.1 kg that you want to defrost. So once you click here, set the weight and click this one. It start defrosting. So this is to show you the time defrost. Click here and you can set the time, you know, to say for example two minutes and yeah, just click start. Then it will start defrosting for two minutes for you. So okay, now let's look at the auto menu. Say for example, you want to steam a dumpling. Let's click here. This is actually showing you, you have a 200 grams, 200 grams of dumpling. So uh, if you want to increase the weight, you can, yeah, so that you have 300 grams, 400 grams of dumplings. So if you have 400 grams of dumpling, you need to have at least, you know, 800 grams of water. So steam fish as well, uh, when you click on it, this is showing the, the, the weight of it. Uh, so you can increase if you want to. And you need to cut into pieces. Otherwise, if you put in a whole fish, then it will cook unevenly. And as for steam rice as well, uh, depending on the weight, you can set it. And uh, steam rice, uh, 100 grams of rice, you need 200 grams of water or 0 0.2 liters of water. As for steam veggies, is 100 gram of veggies and one teaspoon of water. Yep. Uh, reheat is actually, uh, this is reheat. And once you click on it again, it will start, you know, rotating to one, two or three, depending on the level you want. So there you have it. It's uh, this is my sharp microwave and it's actually more technical than I thought. It's actually more difficult to use than I thought it, it will be, uh, depending on how you use it. If you just want to reheat it, uh, reheat items, or you just want to uh, make sure defrost something, then it's fine. But if you want to use it for cooking, yeah, I think this will be a very good uh, auto functions. Yeah, it's like steam fish and stuff. So yeah, now I've learned all how to use it and I've, I've actually shown you how to use it as well. So hopefully you guys are aware how to use this and this is a nice piece of, you know, uh, glass finish. And the model number is R357EK. Not too sure how it, the models, the model might be different in, uh, in the US or Canada, but in Asia, I think it should be the same. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.